Miltenberg, uh, Germany, and I uh, just bought my first uh, souvenir gift. I got a couple of coins here. Uh, German marks that uh, were uh, from the Weimar Republic. I got a hundred mark, and a uh, Sig mark, and a uh, thousand mark. Antiques, but at the time, they were worth a lot less than that. That was a time when you could buy barrels full of money you could bring to buy anything because of the Republic, uh, uh, the Weimar Republic had just printed money and printed money and printed money. Now, I'm sure you've never heard of a nation doing that sort of thing, but what happens is you destroy the currency and uh, it becomes absolute. I'll tell you, the National Bank of Argentina, had some serious issues here in Argentina when talking about uh, the flow of capital because right now uh, th there's a long history of Argentinians not trusting their banks for, for, for a lot of reasons. They don't trust their government either, uh, but terribly expensive and, and when you, um, right now the Argentinian peso is worth uh, four and a half pesos from one dollar. Uh, 15 or 20 years ago, about 20 years ago when they created the peso, it was worth one to one. And right now on the market, uh, out in the streets, you can get five and a half pesos for the dollar. So he's he's buying it at cinco pesos and selling at seis pesos. Cambio for money. Uh, quanto for dollars? Quanto pesos por dollars? Dollar? Si, quanto? Cinco, cinco, cinco cincuenta. Cinco cincuenta. Some books for children. Here's a book. Without inflation and with inflation. Can you imagine that? A book for children? You have a premium of about 20% on the street. And what happens, Argentinians don't trust the peso, so they pull their money out of pesos and they put it into dollars. Anywhere, hotels, even private citizens will, will say, I have, I'll give you pesos for your, your American dollars, because they know that American dollars are a store of value for them, as opposed to the Argentinian peso, which is constantly being devalued. Why? Because the government's printing more money and more money. Ironically, the U.S. does the same thing, but we can get away with it because we are the, uh, uh, the equivalent of gold, the American dollar, in many parts of the world. And that has allowed us to do things that no other nation can do. We're doing some of the same policies of Argentina, but they, their economy gets destroyed by it. And uh, I was talking to one Argentinian and I said, well, you know, gold is better than uh, the U.S. dollar. And he said, no, actually... The U.S. dollar for them is better than gold because it's more easily divisible, it's more easily tradable. You can't just go take a hunk of gold and break it up, but if you have 520s, you could either sell $100 or $80 or 60 So for them, the American dollar is actually more valuable. And every time that happens, the Argentinians try to push their pesos into dollars, it just ends up destroying it because no one wants pesos. So. Um, Serious problems here in the banks of Argentina. Marco Polo Suites in uh, a uh, tourist town called Puerto Iguazu in, in the, the northernmost regions of, uh, of uh, Argentina. And uh, guess what? They don't take credit cards. However, the official exchange rate, 4.5 pesos for one U.S. dollar. They're giving us 5.2 pesos for one U.S. dollar. So uh, here are the hotels of the banks.